So in terms of white papers, right, I have two options for you. One is a really long list. This is all of my, like, the number of white papers that I have read are in green and the rest are in white. I either want to reread them or I have them in my list. But uh, the ones I have read and found useful uh, or at a high level I've read and, you know, noted them down as pretty interesting are all here. So I'll share this link with you in the chat. And this is what I'll go through. The other one, you know, the white ones may go out or, yeah. You get it. It's, it's not fully formed yet. So there are many white papers that you can go through, but these are in total 41 white papers that you should definitely go through, in my opinion. The reason is that they talk about different things and they are, uh, because they talk about different things in engineering, they give you a holistic perspective of how systems are built. Okay. Many of them are very different from each other. So you don't only get to cluster your knowledge into certain places, but you also have diverse amounts of knowledge. Okay. Also, one interesting thing is because I've broken it down as per company, uh, you can see the kind of culture that a, that a company has. Okay. Uh, you'll, you'll notice it when you read about Amazon and Amazon has multiple papers, you'll notice the kind of culture that they have is very different from what Google has just reading their white papers. And the kind of culture that Meta has is extremely different from Google's. Okay, I'll, I'll take an example. This is what I felt personally. Meta, the engineers, are very much about this is a problem. How do we solve it in the simplest possible way? And Google gets the same problem, let's say, and they say, this is a problem. How do we solve it in the most extensible long term solution way? Okay, uh, so one is expensive long term investment um but that's that's how google behaves so their solutions are correct for a really long time okay or at, at least they try to be correct for a really long time meta on the other hand is much cooler in my uh you know personal assessment because take for example the paper tau yeah it's an in memory graph database google ha also has uh, you know graph processing with them but tau is a very practical sort of implementation. They have memcache. It's a in-memory cache. And then they build tau on top of it. Okay. So they have a social network, which is huge. This social network, you might argue, you know, you should think about how do I um, efficiently process queries in the database first, then move to a cache. But no, they start from in-memory. They start from cache. They start from application layer. And then if necessary, they move to deeper and deeper engineering. Okay. Uh, again, this is all what I feel having read these papers. Yeah. And a few more, which haven't made it through the filter, but uh, that's what I feel like they are, they are very much into getting things done quickly. Google. Uh, another thing about Google, which is quite interesting is their scale is insane. So maybe Amazon comes close to them in terms of scale, but Google scale is just insane. Uh, just look at, let's say, uh, F1, okay, fast analytics, TensorFlow, but F1 is even more uh, of a thing. Uh, do you know about Google Analytics, the dashboards that you see over there? How do you build those dashboards quickly? How do you run queries on billions of data points quickly per user? Okay. so. Yeah, that is some interesting engineering. And F1, Napa, these two are pretty similar to each other. Like uh, you see that this is data warehousing. The F1 is more of the uh, analytical layer on top of it, or, or you can say querying layer on top of it. But some of the engineering is literally planet scale. They, they keep saying planet scale. They mean it also. Okay. Uh, so these are the white papers that you can go through. Please go through the link that I just shared. Uh, it's very useful. Obviously, these white papers are all, you know, um, <laughs> they have many, many citations. So it will be worth your while. Okay. Uh, some of the things which stand out here are Foundation DB. This is from Apple. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't tell about the engineering culture from just one paper. This is from TikTok, Monolith. Uh, scalability. This is more of a, I think there were some researchers from different universities. 
many of them i think in google or i can just open this up and show you yeah unaffiliated and, and then you see these this is a star mark so uh, what they are saying is he was in google but then he was he is now employed by google but at the time of writing he was not and is was employed by microsoft research but is now unaffiliated okay so they have made both unaffiliated whether they were or were not working with someone having said that this is a really good paper okay so do go through it scalability at what cost basically means that um, they took some graph processing algorithms and said that can we do this in parallel and can we do it in a single processor and it turns out that the single processor is super super efficient okay and and in some cases faster than parallel processing algorithms it's a really interesting paper it reminds me of alpha beta pruning and parallel alpha beta and sometimes i feel like just alpha beta is faster okay uh, omkar is asking what is the difference between a patent and a white paper um so yesterday i, I got a uh, you know i got some information from someone who was very kind on linkedin who explained to me that these are not exactly white papers these are research papers white papers can be from anybody in the industry who wants to note down some of their learnings research papers are uh, referenced they are cited uh, they are like multiple people do a peer review and then it gets published so these are these are research papers these are not just white papers they are pretty good you will also notice that they have very particular way of you know writing things down there's an abstract uh, then there's an introduction as to what the problem is there is related work this is not necessary sometimes they start with something else number 2 can be something else uh, so what already exists in the market they always find some or the other fault here you know what exists in the market nothing exists as good as us we were necessary otherwise there would be no purpose for building the system uh, everybody has a reason to exist so then comes uh, the system overview so this is a breakdown right they may be different like in this case you are seeing conclusion is here right and then there'll be acknowledgments i think at the end there'll be conclusion acknowledgments yeah future work some people don't have future work uh, some people have comparison site number 7 right uh, some people have implementation so engineering practices so this this depends but reading um, many many papers you start building a habit of how to break things down usually on top there are the problem statement right why is this being built towards the end you have related work uh, and the experimental um results yeah so when we did this what happened so maybe this thing this massive red line becomes very small okay it goes down so stuff like that usually comes in um, cost and benefits okay there are sometimes uh, implementation details also so that is usually in the middle and number 2 and 3 are probably algorithm okay so we have gone through white papers let's go through the next bit which is system design resources this is a more let's say um blog intensive resource right most of the things you'll see here are either so if you go here these are all blogs netflix blog for example this one linkedin blog this is uh ksql db and this is again netflix this was just added i think yesterday netflix cyborg pretty interesting uh, blog so if you go through these resources they will help you gain a a very good perspective on different engineering practices in different organizations not every organization has the resources to write a white paper okay google facebook uber amazon these people can they have the time and their projects are let's say that intense that they merit a white paper not everybody needs to write a white paper so you may not see every company do that but that the engineering might be extraordinary even then right so uh, if you are looking for that then those resources are here use a lot of netflix blogs netflix is very very actively posting blogs facebook also very actively posts blogs yeah so for example uh, consistent hashing this is a person who's written a blog so there are personal blogs also 
these are a little easier to consume than something like a white paper white paper is much more dry but the information is more precise heavy there's no jokes there's no um you know fun diagrams or memes uh, which a blog has so sometimes it's easier to consume like if it's a 7 minute read it's a 7 minute read a white paper is not a 7 minute read firstly there's no very few white papers will be 7 minute reads you have to go through it and if you really want to understand it you sit down and take down notes like i do right um, so if there's a paper that you really want to understand you start taking down notes each sentence and definitely each paragraph is worthy of noting something down right they have probably spent weeks on each paragraph some paragraphs uh, are weeks long three or four engineers have worked on it for a couple of days which is like for you individually it's a it's a big deal so there is that uh yes uber engineer this site can't be reached to their microservice architecture isn't doing too well is it uh yeah now it's open okay awesome let me see okay this is another pretty good one right on why microservices or monoliths or nano services should we choose uh, they have domain driven i think design now which is also interesting so this resource is pretty good again go through that uh, the link for the white papers is again over here so if you ever miss it that's right here this is a heavily starred github repo it's already at 13k stars right if you find it useful you can start it so that you can remember it later on again thank you so much for coming thank you so much for making this a successful stream and uh, until next time see you take care bye bye